Hello everybody, it's Sam from the Anorax Podcast here and today we're doing part 6 of my How to Play Hero Clicks tutorial series and today we're going to cover elevated terrain and how that works for attacking. Um, so we're starting off basically, you've got Hulk here from the uh, Galactic Guardians LE set and we've got Silver Surfer from the main Galactic Guardians set and uh, it looks like they're adjacent to each other so they can do close combat attacks but they're not. Um, Silver Surfer is on a higher terrain elevation there as you can see he's got a red line going around there and what this actually means is Hulk, he, although he can see Silver Surfer, because Silver Surfer's, any time you're stood on the edge of elevated terrain, people can see you from below. So yeah, Hulk can see him, but he can't actually attack him, because Hulk's got a range of zero, so he can't make an attack on Silver Surfer, because it looks like he's next to him, he's not, he's at higher up. Silver Surfer, on the other hand, has got a range, he can do a range of eight, which means he can actually attack the Hulk from there. So, um, as you can see, it does work out to be on higher elevation sometimes. Particularly if you're ranged, you can start attacking people. Now, the way line of fire works, basically, if you're on elevated like that, you can only see people on your elevation or the lip of a higher elevation. You can't see anything below you unless you're stood on the edge of the elevation, which is called the lip. Now, from the lip, you can actually see any square below you, but likewise, anyone below you can see you stood there. So it does take a little bit to get your head around elevation, admittedly, and um, it still causes arguments from time to time during games. But we're going to move over the map slightly now to an area where it's actually got three levels of terrain, just to um, go over how that works a little. So as you can see, we've moved a little uh, bit around to a different area of the map now. This area is actually covering three elevations. So you've got the bottom elevation here in this grey colour. This grassy area here is the second elevation, and this rocky area at the top here is the third elevation. And um, this is where it can get quite complicated, I suppose. But um, it's not too difficult once you've got your head around it. So if Hulk's down here on the bottom elevation, Silver Surfer can be stood on the second elevation here, and neither of them can see each other. Because although Silver Surfer's on the edge here, you can only see, when you're on the edge, you can see the elevation directly below you. But you can't see all the way down to this one at the bottom here. So that's going to block anyone from making any attacks there. Now, for instance, again, like we did in the, uh, just now, if Silver Surfer's on the second elevation there, he can see Hulk and make the attack. Likewise, Hulk can see him but can't make the attack because he's not a ranged character. Um, the only other thing really should go over is just moving through up and down ranged, uh, up and down elevated terrain. So you've got, the, you've got the little red triangles that mark the up and down areas. And to make the move through, you've got to go through each of the boxes in those areas. So although you can normally move diagonally, I can't move Hulk one, two like that. Hulk has to go one, two, three, because he has to move through both areas that go through the train. And the same with this top one here. If two characters are on the actual, the area that goes up between the two bits, they, they are adjacent to each other. So here, although here, Hulk can't attack Silver Surfer, on this one here, he's on the ladder going up, so he can attack him. Um, I hope all this makes sense. Uh, elevation, as I say, it's... It's falsely complicated. It's not as difficult as it sounds, but a lot of people seem to struggle to get their heads around it a bit. Hopefully this will clear it up a bit. Um, if you've got any questions, put, the com put them in the comments box below and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and as always, you can find more from us at anoraxpodcast.com and uh, I'll see you soon.